All right, here we are again in the engine bay talking about stuff. Today's topic is we're going to talk about the engine coolant temperature sensor. All right, so there's two of them. There's one here in the crossover pipe. So you got your thermostat, you got your crossover pipe. This goes to your heater connection. This one is what the ECM is looking at when it wants to know coolant temperature. The one in the dash gauge is actually down there. Right there. Okay. That one, they're different, right? This one only has one wire. So we unplug it. That's what the connector looks like. This is the one just for the dash. The ECM does not look at this one. This is on the driver's side head. Plug that back in. There we go. Alright, so this one over here has two wires. Pigtail might look a little different. I had to place mine. It was all bent out of shape. Alright, so two wires here. That's what it looks like in there. Alright, so this one controls a few things right so it'll, it'll change your your timing advance for cold starts right it controls your glow plug cycle for how long the glow plugs are on and it controls your um, your lockup for your torque converter if it's not working correctly none of those three are going to work correctly either this thing is like eighteen dollars maybe for the AC Doco one. Don't buy anything else because from everybody talking on the forums, the AC Doco one is the best one to buy and it will give you the least trouble and it lasts the longest. So go get that one, replace this if you're having trouble with those things, and then uh, you should be, you know, should fix it. And if it doesn't fix it, then you got other things, but it's a cheap enough thing to replace and it can cure a lot of your problems if, if that is bad, right? Um, something you can do to see if it fixes it or if it doesn't fix it, right? While the engine's running, unplug it. If you unplug the sensor, the engine or the ECM is going to see that it thinks that there's really, really cold coolant. So it's going to raise RPMs up to about 1,000, 1,050 or something like that. And you're not going to have torque converter lockup. So I'm going to start the engine and I'm going to demonstrate uh, basically what that does. And it's, it's exactly what I said. Right? So. Like you saw, engine revs up, it's unplugged, I'm going to plug back in, goes back to normal. So, if you're having short cycles on your glow plugs, if you don't have a flock up, and it just seems to run really crap while it's either cold or before it gets hot, replace this thing and go from there. Like I said, this can cause problems in those three areas. But cheap enough just replace it um, and don't just act like you're throwing parts at it right do those checks and um, if it works you know that's where where you know it is uh, if it doesn't then um, then you need to do some more further troubleshooting um, but that's about it with this sensor but big misconception is that this one controls everything. No, you got that little guy over there is for the dash. That one, so if your dash isn't working, don't just replace this one, replace that one over there. Rock Auto has both, so pay attention to which one you're getting. All right, guys, give me uh, any comments if you have anything else to add or if I missed something.